it's Kelsey and Kendra and today we're going to be doing our July favorites um sorry this is up late but I mean once again our favorites are always late and we don't want to upload any like earlier last week or yeah like in the like recently because everybody's been doing July favorites left and right so we just wanted to wait yeah that's true so it was a bunch up so we just wanted to wait so we're getting it up today and we have a few products that we want to show you not a whole lot but we have some makeup products brushes hair products skincare and like one body products yeah so um we're, of course we're going to start out with makeup like we usually do uh -huh. and um i guess i'll start with uh the foundation that i have been obsessed with um this is the uh maybelline super stay makeup um and it is the 24 hour one it lasts for 24 hours but i mean i obviously don't know that because i don't wear my makeup for 24 hours but this stuff is amazing um it does not make you oily it stays matte as long as you need it to um it's not too heavy what else i don't know i just love it it's inexpensive it was only like ten dollars um and i did use this in the get ready video that i uploaded um on yesterday so um if you want to see how that goes on this is what i was using in that video so um i just like this a lot and i am in um caramel so yeah been loving this and the foundation that I recently tried is the Revlon Airbrush Photo Ready. And it's a mousse makeup. And I was kind of skeptical about trying this because I heard mixed reviews on it. But I want to try it for myself like I do everything. And I really like it. The only thing is, like, after a while, you, I, obviously I'm very oily. So I get oily after a while. So I find that I have to powder sooner than normally. But I think I would like this a whole, whole lot better when I use it in fall and winter. But mm -hmm. I still do love it because it does give like a nice airbrush finish. Yeah. But kind of like a dewy, dewy look at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing it right now. So you, you can probably tell that it's kind of like on the dewy side. But I really like it and it is in the color 080 Caramel. And I think this is the darkest shade. So that's the only thing I don't like. I don't have a, whole, a bunch of ranges of colors. Well, as far as I've seen. But I got this from Target and it was $9.99 and I really do like it. So yeah, that's the foundation that, that I've been using. Okay, next um, we're going to show you, talk about our uh, vanity palettes. And I think this probably has been in the favorites before, but we've decided... We've to, been using this the entire month of July. Yeah, we have been using it a lot, a lot. Yes. So um, yeah, this is the vanity palette. I'm sure everyone has, has seen this. It's like super old. It's by Wet n Wild. It's extremely cheap and expensive the colors are amazing and very pigmented. pigmented and the look that i'm wearing right now is what i used um today i used the gold color and the brown color so if you want to know then that's what i used today to do my makeup so this is what i used <laughs> so so yeah this is very inexpensive we got ours from cbs yes yeah, so yeah and then another makeup uh yeah, this is a makeup product. Um, you, as you guys know, me and Kelsey recently got our eyebrows threaded. If you're not subscribed to our blog channel, then go subscribe right now. and But come back to this video and finish watching it. Anyway, <laughs> um, we got our eyebrows threaded, but I still wanted something to like fill them in so, that, to, so they won't look too naked, like bald spots or whatever. And I love the threading, like the shape of my eyebrows, but I still like to fill them in a little bit. And this is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And I've been using this every single day since I got it. It's from Target, and it was like three dollars. It was three dollars. It was three dollars, and it just comes with the the wax and then the powder. I use both, but I like to do the put the wax on first and then fill it in with the powder because I fit, find that the powder stays better when you put the wax on first. Huh. So that's a little tip. I might have to try that. I don't use it. I have one. I really don't like the powder side. I only use the wax side because I like to fill my um, brows in with just like a dark um, brown shadow. But I do like the wax. So, yeah. And this is in the color medium, by the way. So, medium. So, love, love, love that. Okay, the next um, uh, makeup product yeah. uh, that we have been loving lately is um, this eye makeup remover. A liquid. It's a liquid eye makeup remover. And it looks like this. It's by the Up and Up brand by Target. You probably can't even see that. And it's extremely, extremely, like, it's not heavy, but it's like, extremely you potent. You get the job done. Yes. So Very like, potent. Like two wipes and then basically gone. everything is like gone. And then it gives off waterproof mascara. Yeah. I don't know. Waterproof eyeliner. And waterproof eyeliner. And both of the mascaras that I'm using right now 
are both waterproof and it is so hard to get off with like a regular baby wipe. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, I just hurt my eyelashes. So that gets everything off. Like just one wipe, everything's completely gone. Mm -hmm. Like I, I love this stuff. And it's kind of like, it says it's oil free, but it feels it, oily. Yeah, it, it, feel like, it feels like it has oil in it, but it says it's oil, oil free. free. So it's kind of weird. Don't know. But, but it's like not oily in a bad way. It doesn't irritate you either. It doesn't burn at all. Like it'll get in your eye and it just mm -hmm. doesn't feel like anything. So mm -hmm. I love that. And it's supposed to be comparable to the Neutrogena one. Yeah. Which is, because the Neutrogena one is kind of like on the oily side or whatever. Yeah. But How I much was love this? it. I think it was like $4. Very from inexpensive from Target. Loved it so much. Um, use it all the time. Um, Non-irritating. And yeah, it just works really well. So we really like this a lot. And somebody had requested us to do um, how we take up our makeup off video. And we'll get to that eventually because, I mean, it's really not. It's pretty self -explanatory. Yeah, we don't really do anything special, special. But we will show you guys since you asked. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, love this eye makeup remover. And then the last um, makeup, products. makeup products, of course, you guys know we have been loving our Sigma, Sigma brush, brush set. Absolutely love. amazing. Like, love. Love, love, love. So um, we're not going to go in too much detail about these because we, we talked about them in a review. Uh -huh. So yeah, if you want to, um, it's just the Make Me Up Travel Kit. Yeah, you want to watch a review on these brushes, we will link that video in, in the description. description box. So yeah, love those. So that's last for makeup. Next, moving on to hair. Yeah. And we only have two hair products. And these two hair products we were using, of course, when, uh, our, hair when our hair was curly, because you know our hair was still curly at the beginning of July. Uh -huh. So um, we just still wanted to give them the credit that they, they deserve, deserve, although our hair is not curly right now. But um, of course, you see that we have been loving this we it. because it's gone completely. Um, this is the Carol's daughter um, Tui we moisturizing leave-in conditioner, mm -hmm. and it was water-based. Um, very lightweight, makes your hair extremely Super soft. Super moisturizing. Yeah. Like, I love, love, love this stuff. Mm -hmm. When my hair is curly, I will never ever use another leave-in conditioner. <laughs> that stuff is bomb. Yeah, and like, it was only like twelve dollars at Sephora. Sephora. It's amazing. It smells good, but it's alcohol free, so it's like you get the best of both worlds. You know, so it's like a really moisturizing and healthy product for your hair, but it also smells really good. Yeah. Because most products that smell good have alcohol in it, but that yeah. one doesn't. So I give that 10 stars. Yeah. Not 5 stars, but 10 stars. <laughs> okay, and next hair product is our Pantene Nature Fusion Conditioner. And as you guys know, to style, we like to use conditioner too. So regular conditioner that's supposed to rinse out, it doesn't make a difference. Our hair is completely fine. So yeah. if you're scared to use it, don't be scared. It's not going to do anything. And this is the Pantene Natural Fusion, and we absolutely love this. This is the Moisture Balance one, mm -hmm. and it says it's plant-based, blah, blah, blah. And whatever. this gives excellent hold, but it doesn't make your hair feel crunchy. Crunchy, yeah. It's still, like, nice and soft, but your hair doesn't get freezing when you walk outside. And this is... 40, 40 ounce fluid ounces and we got it see it's bigger than my head and i have a pretty big head so um we got this from sam's for like seven dollars yeah like seven dollars very inexpensive for this bottle so if you have like a costco or a sam's you might want to go um pick this up and we have to use the big bottles for when our hair is curly because we use a ton of products. yeah we do so love those two yeah and then next moving on to skincare <laughs> yes and we have one skincare item Yes, I will. okay. I mentioned these a while ago in our old skincare routine video, but recently I have gone back to them and then I have gotten Kendra hooked on them. And these the these are the Aveeno Clear Complexion Daily Cleansing Pads. Yes. And they look like they look like this. And it's the um salicylic acid blemish trees. So salicylic acid blemish treatment in it <laughs> so it's perfect if you have acne prone skin or you're trying to yeah. be preventative mm -hmm. for acne yeah and i just love it like they have like a exfoliant side and like a cleansing side and they're pretty moistened too mm -hmm. so you don't have to like run them underwater or anything they just, you just have like, to get like your face a little they're just wet. like little pads like this you just have to get like your face wet and then just go to town with it i yeah. love it like mm -hmm. we we only use these at night time mm -hmm. when we wear makeup yeah if but the days we don't wear makeup, makeup we, don't we don't use these. these. Mm -hmm. And it, it comes with 28 self-foaming dual texture pads. So they last like a month. Yeah. If you use it every single day. But we don't wear makeup every single day, so we don't. Yeah. Last but not least is a skincare product. It's a lotion from Jurgens. It's a soothing alloy um, 
formula is the refreshing moisturizer with aloe and cucumber works it's, amazing like every time we get out the shower every night we just put this on every night mm -hmm. and it doesn't it's not greasy greasy at all but it's moisturizing at the same time like this stuff is amazing mm -hmm. we got it from walmart it was walmart walmart it was and like six dollars says it soothes and hydrates and it smells good and there's not much more to say it's amazing like i love jergens lotion we used to use it a long time ago but we just recently started using it again so love this lotion and i think yeah that's it, that's it. that can please our july favorites we really didn't have that much much for this month but the products we did love we want to share with you guys so um yeah we have a lot more videos in store for you guys and yeah we'll see y'all in our next video bye, bye.